What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? I'm so sorry, my Aquarius booze, that I missed y'all. The streets are saying I missed y'all on the um the full moon um messages. So I'm so sorry about that. I think I got confused. I didn't get confused. I I did because I think I skipped and then I came back. And I'm sorry if I missed y'all. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So, true to my motherfucking word. And true to my nature. Okay, y'all gonna get y'all reading. Okay, y'all know how much I love y'all energy. And not y'all saying y'all feel, y'all don't feel the love. I've been talking about Aquarius placements all month. I've been dropping bombs for y'all all month. So, y'all better stop that. Okay? But here we go with the flow. Y'all know y'all family. I have Aquarius in my fourth house. And I am a 11th house son, and Aquarius rules the 11th house. So I very much so identify um, with you all's energy. Six of Wands is coming out. So you all are going to have some sort of victory over something. Six of Wands talks about success, victory. A recognized victory. You know, being honored for something. You know, people acknowledging you for something, or even you acknowledging shit yourself. Some of you could be accomplishing something. Having some sort of accolade or some of you all could also be realizing how far you've come. Because Six of Wands talks about coming a long way. Especially after some sort of battle. Okay? So, you know, I just wanted to do a quick little blurb for y'all. Um, and see what's going on with my um, Aquarius booze for this full moon in Aquarius. Remember... Um, full moon energy is three days before and three days after. So the full moon in Aquarius was yesterday. So you have yesterday, today, and tomorrow to work with the energy on oh, the day after. So you justice. Ooh, karma. Okay, balance, harmony, good karma. A lot of you all have a lot of decisions to make. You know, for this full moon, because you know the full moon is about revealing shit, illuminating things, releasing things letting go of shit so spirit is also asking you during this time to make some decisions make some just decisions because justice is about you know what's fair fair to you fair to other people but yeah for a lot of you spirit is asking you to make some decisions use some sort of judgment use some sort of discernment with that libra card it could have something to do with your relationships as libra rules relationships let's see what's this wheel of fortune yeah a lot of you all are having a huge shift you aquarius placements are having a huge shift in something some sort of turning point you know some sort of point of no return you know things happening you know a shift you know uh uh this is more good karma you have the wheel of fortune and um the justice card a lot of you all are having good karma coming towards you or you're walking into a new cycle of good karma Good things are coming to you, and it has a lot to do with those decisions and that judgment spirit is asking you to make. Mm -hmm. Something happening that is destiny, good fortune, cycles. My phone just went off when I said that. What else we got? What else we got for my Aquarius placements? <clears throat> I am so sorry, y'all. Okay. Let's see. What else we got? I know everybody else is going to be like, they get along video well they had to wait five of wands you all could be dealing with a lot of conflict you could be dealing with a lot of clashing and that's why spirit is telling you you need to use some judgment you know you need to cut some holes off because they're trying to sink the ship you know a lot of you all could be having some sort of illuminations in your friend group people in your community people who you fuck with motherfuckers who could be jealous of you that could be coming out motherfuckers that ain't trying to be in unity with you that could be coming out people competing trying to be in competition with you putting you in competition people trying to hold you back that's what the five of wands is chaos and conflict and spirit is like ah, it's time to make a decision and let go of all that shit no more we're walking into a new cycle why would you want to bring chaos and conflict into a new cycle of good fortune mm -mm. look at this new cycle that you having ten of pentacles you all are having some sort of cycle opening that has to do with your success, your money, your wealth, your foundations, also your family. Okay, my phone just went off again. Page of Cups is here. You all could be having some lucid dreams. You all could be receiving a lot of visions. You know, you all could, your, your intuition could be heightened. You could be very sensitive to feelings, emotions. You know, right now, you could be sensing shit, picking up on shit. 
Some of you all could be reaching into your artistic bag. Death is at the bottom of the deck because I thought I saw the world card. You all are definitely having some endings, some cycles closing. King of Swords. That's Aquarius. That's y'all. Le uh, Leo. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, um, Libra. Hmm. You all, it's time for you to make some decision, especially if some of you all have been acting like y'all don't know what the fuck is going on. It's time for you to take that shit off your, your, your face and make some decisions. Because you got some endings, some cycles closing. Anything else for my Aquarius booze? Their full moon in Aquarius energy. Anything else? Mm. Two of Wands. It's time for you to take a risk. Spirit is telling y'all to turn y'all back on the fuckery and step out of your comfort zone. Do something you've never done before. That's you all's energy. Aquarius is very detached and futuristic. Very progressive. Very fast forward. Not of this world. They take risks. That's what this two of wands energy is about. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Stepping outside of some sort of box. Planning. Being in strategy mode. To do something new. To do something you've never done before. The world is literally in your hand, Aquarius. Go out there and take advantage one more shuffle for my Aquarius booze. One more shuffle. Oops, sorry, y'all. Now I'll do this as one more shuffle. One more shuffle for my Aquarius booze for this full moon in Aquarius energy. Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you are your friend group. It's something about y'all, who y'all hang out with, co workers, a group. You know, you could be finding out that some motherfuckers is gossiping about you, talking shit about you. You know, you, 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 you in a lot of people's mouth with this three of pentacles to the page of swords. Motherfuckers could be plotting, you know, to cut you down, to, 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 to take from you, to sabotage you. Hmm. Wanting to know about you, being nosy about you. Hmm. You got a lot of interest surrounding you Aquarius you got the page of swords which is the gossip card and the page of cups which is the interest card and for a lot of you spirit is saying we've been giving y'all asses downloads about who and what anything else spirit nine of swords the devil and the four of wands <sighs> yeah so a lot of you all have been carrying on with energies that do nothing but restrict you, hold you back, chain you up. You know, the devil is Capricorn energy. This talks about temptation. It talks about restrictions, <sighs> hard lessons, your freedom being being um, being taken. You see how they're chained? And if it's one thing about an Aquarius, remember, you all are rebels. You all are free-spirited. You all like to do your own thing. You all are detached. You should not lock up an Aquarius placement. That's not their thing. They want to rebel. They want to do their own thing. They want to be their own person. Very individualistic. Very rebellious. And my phone is going crazy as I'm saying this. Okay? So a lot of you all have been attached to energies, making foundations, making homes out of motherfuckers, people, places, things that are not for your highest good. That's devil energy. And that's why you, you, you fucked up by it. A lot of you all been in despair. A lot of you all been panicking a lot of you all been dealing with anxiety and all types of shit you could be having anxiety you know about some connections some relationships you know let that shit go that's all spirit is saying it's time for you to make some decisions i'm hearing it's time for you to shit or get off the pot because you got a new a bright new um beginning happening for you on the horizon Seeding the light, laying foundations. What I tell you, divine plan. Spirit is trying to lay some sort of new foundation for you. And foundations that's of that devil energy that restricts you, holds you back, takes away from you, baby. That's why you, you, you're feeling like you inhale. You in purgatory because you're entertaining shit that takes away from your rebellious spirit. So let it go. Release whatever stops you from being unique, Aquarius. Release whatever stops you from being fast forward, being your unique self, your quirky self. Let that shit go and embrace your uniqueness. Embrace your rebel spirit. Embrace your progressive energy. Okay? I'm going to leave it here, y'all. I'm your girl, A. Nicole. I'm out.